Hey everybody, thanks for watching The Great Green Room. I'm Julia, and today I want to talk about one of my family's very favorite books. Now, usually when I buy a book, any book, but especially a picture book that I'm probably going to have to read over and over again, I really like to look through it first. Read it if I can, check it out from the library if I can. But in this case, unusually for me, I heard the title recommended from a source that I trust, and I went ahead and ordered it off of Amazon without having any idea what it was about. And when it came, I was surprised. I liked it, but it was something I wasn't expecting. And I really should have expected it because it told me what it was going to be about right in the title. So today, I want to talk to you about The Philharmonic Gets Dressed, written by Carla Cuskin and illustrated by Mark Simons. Now, this book was published in 1982, and in the book, the Philharmonic Orchestra of New York City, as was in 1982, gets dressed. I know it's a shock, right? But they don't just throw on some clothes. Oh no, they start at the very, very beginning and in detail show you exactly what they are doing. So we're going to start in the shower. Then we're going to dry off. Then we're going to put on underwear. This is incredibly hilarious. Both sexes put on underwear. The ladies, as you'll see, put on different kinds of complicated underwear. Then they sit down and put on their pants. They put on their suspenders. And now here we get the uh, conductor and he gets dressed specially. He has special stuff to wear. So we get to see how he gets dressed. Then the ladies put on their fancy clothes. Oh, but they don't put on any bracelets because that might interfere with what they're doing. They put on the finishing touches. The men tie their ties. They put on their coats. They leave everybody, the babysitters and their husbands and their kids. And they get on public transport. And here's the conductor again. He has a fancy car to take him. Then they get to the concert hall. They tune up. They get their instruments ready. They all go on stage. The conductor goes on stage. They all start to play. All of their different various instruments and their, and their beautiful clothes. Because their job is to play beautifully. So, obviously this book is not just about getting dressed, which is hilarious if you're a small child, and is still pretty funny when you're an adult. Let's just be honest here. It is about the step-by-step -step process by which a group of people gets ready for something, and that is endlessly fascinating for children. It's funny because it involves underwear, ha ha ha, but it's valuable because it is a process and kids just absolutely can't get enough of processes. It doesn't talk down to the kids. Uh, it explains everything very, very clearly and step by step. And it is surprisingly informative. I mean, most people like an adult knows how to put on clothes, but kids don't always know how to put on clothes. And what are these fancy suspender things? What are those? What is this little like roughly thing that the conductor is wearing? And not only that, it actually does go into detail about why the conductor is special, what his job is, what the orchestra is doing backstage. And now an orchestra is not really something that a lot of little kids have, have a bunch of experience with. Um, so this is a topic that maybe they're not introduced to normally, but it becomes relatable to them because it shows them getting dressed just like a kid would, just like anybody they know would. And then they go on and do this really interesting thing that maybe they don't know a lot about. And so I just find this book so fun for kids and so interesting and good for them. And it's not just puerile hee hee underwear, which is funny, but it, that's not all it is. It's so much more than that. It's so valuable for kids to be able to see uh, see this process and to lead them to some place that maybe they maybe they don't know a lot about. So I really encourage you to, if not buy this book outright, look for it at the library. I think you'll really, really like it. If you don't prefer to have your kids looking at people putting on underwear, you don't see anything. It's all it's all just like silly cartoon illustrations. But if you don't prefer that, that's totally understandable. Just don't read that part. You can skip straight to them putting on pants. That's also funny. So I definitely recommend that you look at this book. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, I want to hear about books that you've read lately. I want to hear about your family's favorite books. If you've read The Philharmonic Get Dressed, I want to hear about it. 
Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe.